will know what are the ingredients that are used in the commercially available ice creams. Many ice creams don't even mention the ingredients that they use. If we know what all goes into making an ice cream, probably we won't be having them. When I decided to quit white sugar and dairy, I never thought that I would be eating ice creams ever again. Thankfully, I found so many recipes of homemade ice creams that are both easy to make and blissfully yummy to eat. And all the time, it's all completely dairy free, no white sugar and is made of comparatively much healthier ingredients and with so much of love that I put in while making them. Ingredients. Three figs, three bananas. We can either peel the bananas and leave it in the freezer for five to six hours or use fresh bananas. I prefer to use fresh ones, but the frozen ones give a very good consistency as well for the ice cream. Five to six de-seeded dates, one large spoon of peanut butter, homemade peanut butter, pistachios and raisins for garnishing, one large teaspoon of cacao nibs for both garnishing and to give the chocolate flavor, and one cup of coconut milk. The thicker the coconut milk, the better. Mine is a little dilute, but that also serves the purpose. So once we blend everything, we put it in a bowl and garnish it with cacao nibs and raisins and pistachios. And this is how beautiful and yummy it looks. We will be keeping it in the freezer for about one to two hours would suffice. But whenever you want, you can just eat it after about one and a half to two hours. ice cream looks after it's frozen. Uh, it tastes super yummy. Mm -hmm.